Oh, hey, would you look at that? A picture of my eyeball. <laughs> okay, anyway, just think of that emoji, the eye with the lips in the middle and then another eye on the other side of the lips. Like I've always wanted to use that face emoji thing and I think this applies. Anyway, so my emergency eye laser procedure for both my eyes. Just wanted to talk about that. If anyone is interested, I don't know why you'd be interested, but maybe curious is the word. I don't know. So basically, if you would like a random update on the well-being of my eyeballs, <laughs> here it is, some of a more unique journal entry. Maybe it can help to shed some light, or like open your eyes per se, no pun intended, on eye health and laser treatments, procedures, and emergencies for the eye. At my annual eye exam this past December, my eye doctor referred me to a specialist across town after he saw something concerning with my left eye. He knew his equipment couldn't catch everything the specialist could find through his equipment. Originally, the concern was that there was scarring and trauma and bruising in my left eye, a quite possible retinoschisis as they call it, which could develop into a more serious retinal detachment. However, the specialist hardly examined my left eye, and his main concern was my right eye, which he said was a much bigger concern as my right eye scarring was far bigger before the right eye was of no concern. So I had the laser treatment done to my right eye then and there. It was fast, maybe like four or five minutes, I would say, but it felt longer, of course. I have a high pain tolerance, but the procedure had me trembling. It was fine at first, then my eye got so tired and it was like a burning pinching in my eye. And note, you can't close your eye. They have it basically propped open. It's not propped open. It's like forced open. It has a weird tool that will, t will actually touch and be against your eye. Anyway, um, I was expecting something like a traditional red laser that cats obsess over. <laughs> but it was Christmas colors, red and green, flashing lights, and of course, high tech-ish process. Afterwards, half of the world <clears throat> was pink because my right eye was seeing things in pink pink tempor temporarily that's normal my mistake to wear a thick fuzzy sweater i was sweating so much <laughs> the pain lasted maybe six hours after that but napping helped and with every cat nap my pupil got less and less dilated the specialist was a big guy with an abrupt personality i was essentially blind for the whole very thorough three hour long appointment without contacts which is to be expected so i never truly saw the specialist faced, he was face, <laughs> he was just a blur of tan with white on his head for hair. When he walked into the room, he booms, you're too young to be here. He said that these things happen to the elderly usually, which makes sense. Retinal tears are rare anyway, as it is. I went back to see the specialist about my left eye a couple weeks ago, so in January here, and I ended up getting the same emergency treatment for the left. The hole in each eye was incredibly huge, and if the concern turns from retinal tear to hole to detachment, you will go blind. Fun. The cost was pretty expensive, but thankfully I'm currently on my parents' insurance still for a little while longer, and so that brought the cost down a little bit. Still too bad though, that's a month's rent that I was saving towards my apartment. Sometimes it's trauma to the eye or head, it can be anything from that to something as simple as a person even slightly, what's the word, I have a stutter and it's like bumping into you. Even holding in a sneeze can do it. He said screen time too. I try to live a life of variety, but I do write and work on my laptop too much maybe. So much online for school did not help either, especially during COVID and my having started school strictly online for a couple years. So I'm going to be more careful, dimming my screens more, wearing my blue light blocking glasses, less computer time, warm washcloth compress to the eyes sometimes, eye drops sometimes, etc, etc. Guess I should have eaten more of those gosh darn carrots. Just kidding. Too bad about no pirate eye patch for me either. That could have been cool. There was a pirate on my dad's side of the family. <laughs> anyway, update complete. And that is my eye. <laughs> And I'm grateful for my sister for a number of reasons. She's awesome, but also the fact that she brought me by, or brought me something. She brought by something, Jamba, but of course. And then also a good neighbor, a friend, brought over this awesome meal soon after that. Maybe it was the same day, I can't keep track, but this was in January just after I got one of my eyes done, my second eye done. I only have two of them, um, but um, I was recovering and I didn't go to work, so that was really nice of them. And then in December, it was just a few days, maybe even three days after Christmas. And yeah, so that was crazy, man. But it's all good now, and I'm not blind. And yeah, <laughs> no problems, no pain.